In this video, we will present our Trust Structure Analysis application. We can generate nodes using Generate Node function. And we can create elements by specifying two end nodes. We can turn the labels on and off using Element Label On and Node Label On functions. After creating a simple structure, we can save our file and reopen it again. If we hit remove all button, we can de delete our structure. Also, we can create some structure using our predefined functions. For example, we can create a beam by defining the number of trust members. After that, we can define some presetted boundary conditions using the boundary conditions part. For example, left wall, right wall, and right and left wall. If we try to create a node or an element that already exists in our structure, the program will prompt us that the node have already exists. We can always delete some nodes and elements using remove selected node and remove selected element functions. And after that we can continue adding our elements to our structure. After defining boundary conditions we can define our material properties. In our program, we have embedded many material properties that are common. After defining the material properties, we can show the extended node list. And see the stress strain relations in the results panel. If we want to optimize the structure that we have created, we can use the optimization part. If we want to optimize a specified node, we can use the optimize node function. And the program will give us the delta L times weight function as a score. If we want to optimize all structure, we can use the optimize all function. And again, we can see that the score is getting less which means that our structure becomes more efficient and more optimized. After many iterations, we can see our results or save our structure. If you want to see our results, we can click the see results and go to results panel. And we can see the side by side view of results without optimization and results with optimization. Also, we can use different color themes on this part. If we want to generate a mesh, we can use the generate mesh function. We can define our structure by using some parameters. We can create a square mesh, a circle mesh, and a rhombus mesh. In our structure, R represents the inner radius of our mesh, and D represents the outer diameter of this rectangle, and N represents the number of nodes in the inner edge of the rectangle, and between mesh defines the number of nodes between this edge and this edge. After generating our mesh, we can define a magnitude and a load type. In this part, we have defined three different load types. First one is expansion. Second one is one side. And the third one is shear. After defining our boundary condition, we can run and see the stress strain relationships. After that, we can exaggerate the drawing using this slider. 
So this is the end of the video and thank you so much for watching.